your thoughts generally on the whole topic of conversational AI optimization. Yeah, um, and I've already got a bone to pick with you because in the intro, in the intro, you talked about uh, uh, wizardry, yes. and um, I think a lot of the stuff really perceived isn't, wizardry. You know? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, a lot of these things when you when you point them out, they seem you know just so incredibly straightforward, um, but actually getting everybody aligned on them and actually doing them is uh, is actually the trickier part. But um, yeah, I mean, uh, I don't want to spoil too much of, uh, of the material that's coming up, but um, I would wholeheartedly agree with you that, um, you know, it, th that process of, of improving once you go live is really crucial. And it's fundamentally different from other kinds of software, right? If you build a mobile application or a, a website, you have certain buttons and navigational elements and you, you confine people to, you know, doing the things that you've uh, prescribed that they're allowed to do. And uh, in voice and, and natural language input, that's not the case. People can say whatever they like. And uh, that's just a fundamentally different challenge and, and one that we have to meet uh, with both technology and with process.